Ashley Allen here on Radio Row for Nesson.com with retired linebacker Cameron Wimbley. Cameron, how are you? Awesome. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. So, Cameron, you retired in May after nine seasons in the league. You're here on Radio Row. What is this experience like, and how does it make you miss the game at all? Well, I always love coming out here and seeing guys that I play with, in, not only in the NFL, but in college as well. Um, I always enjoy the NFL Super Bowl experience. So uh, being out here is fun. I, I really enjoy doing Radio Row. All right, so you spent time with the Titans, the Browns, and the Oakland Raiders. Mm -hmm. We're here in the Bay Area. What was it like with those fans there? I love the Oakland fans. I love the Raider fans, and uh, I know that they want to win. But uh, I really enjoy being out here. I, I believe this was, this was my favorite city. I, I have to to give it to the, the people out here. They really know how to make the team feel welcome. Uh, they know how to treat the players. Um, I just enjoy my time out here in the Bay Area. It's a beautiful place, beautiful people, great football games, great teammates. Uh, I really enjoyed it. All right, so we are from New England, mm -hmm. and I had never heard of the Black Hole until today. Tell me about <laughs> that. <laughs> you didn't know? Uh, no. Uh, yeah, it's a special place. I mean, it's like where we put all of our craziest fans, and, you know, they go, they go eight. They go, I can't say the back back end of that, but they go crazy. I got where you're going. Yeah, they go crazy. So, I mean, if you're an opposing team, you don't want to get caught down there in that area because they're going to they're gonna give you a hard time. So you've been out of the league now for just a few months. What has it been like? It's been a whirlwind, but I've been enjoying myself. I get to spend time with my family. I get to go fishing every once in a while. Uh, I, I go into my office and I try to force myself to stand there and actually get some work done. But... Um, it's great. I get to, you know, link up with people and, and rekindle relationships uh, that that I had previously or previous to going into the NFL because the NFL, it takes a lot of your time. It's, it's a sport that needs, you know, everything from you. And, and I wanted to be one of the better players or the best player that I could possibly be. So uh, now with, with me not playing, I really have a lot of time to do the things that I enjoy. Now, the Carolina Panthers and the Denver Broncos have two of the toughest defenses in the NFL. Mm -hmm. Which team do you think has the, the best linebacker core? Best linebacker core? Uh, I'm a DeMarcus Ware fan. Uh, I've been following him forever, like before uh, he actually went to the Broncos. Uh, so he came out of Troy, and I was kind of a player in his mold, I guess you would say. So he's a hybrid player, a DN linebacker. Von Miller is a special guy as well, very gifted. So, I, but I do love the Carolina Panthers defense and their linebackers, so I don't want to take anything away from them. But I got to go with my old heads. I got to go with or well, one old head. I go with the, the Denver Broncos. All right, so you got the Denver Broncos for the linebacker core. What about as a whole team? Which team think has the edge? As a whole team? I'll, I think both teams are really well balanced. This is one of the Super Bowls where you can't say, oh, it's only the, the offense or it's only the defense. Uh, I think both teams are are great on both sides of the ball, so I'm not even going to pick one. I'm sorry. I know I'm not supposed to do that, but I'm not going to pick one. <laughs> hey, it's your interview. It's up <laughs> yeah. to you. All right, so Carolina Panthers have a really fa fast-paced offense. How do you think the Denver Broncos you know, have to slow them down on Sunday? Um... I think that they'll have to definitely try to contain Cam Newton. Uh, if they can stop him from hurting them, hurting them with their his feet and running on the ground, I think they'll have a, a better opportunity to, to win the game. But I don't know. He's, he's been able to get past everybody this year, you know, whether it's throwing the ball or, or running. Uh, only one team was able to stop him this year. So, yeah. What do you think is the key to stopping Cam? Um, just – basically stand in front of him or not allow him to scramble and make plays with his legs and, and break contain and uh i think that i think the broncos will do a good job of that for the most part but uh cam is a competitor i like him i want him to have a great game um obviously with peyton manning he's uh in the back end of his career i know he wants to go out with a win as well so we'll see what happens i think this is uh this might be like a changing of the guards in terms of that position with the quarterbacks. But, I mean, Cam has a bright future. And Peyton, he's legendary. He's done a lot of great things in this league, well-respected. Uh, I mean, in the, the best-case scenario, they both have a great game. But I think that, that Cam will come out on top. All right. Well, thank you for being with us, Cameron. Yeah, appreciate it.